Candice back again on the Soul Seeker podcast. I don't know how many appearances this is, but by the time you guys check out the show notes, I will have known because all of the links to her previous appearances will be in the show notes. So Candice is an amazing teacher, friend, mentor, spiritual guide, and it's just been so great connecting with you in the past few years. In terms of learning from you, I was recently in your healing collective group for a three month container, which was just divine timing for what I was going through. And all of the one on one sessions I've had in terms of the Akashic records, you've spoken to my group, Structured Flow, a couple of times. Just so grateful for how you show up. And here we are again. Welcome to the show, Candace. Thank you so much, Sam. You always give such a glorious intro. And I feel really grateful to be walking this path of life with you and supporting um people on the planet who are spiritually seeking so i love when we get to get together i feel like the conversations are always really juicy and powerful so thanks for having me back yeah absolutely thank you for being here and today's topic is all around career transitions you know it was recently brought up in my group structured flow which is a private container to help integrate spiritual awakenings about how to navigate a career transition and when this topic comes up for the past four years, I've been like, I don't know, because I have been in the thick of it. And it seems to be the number one theme in terms of people navigating their spiritual awakening. Most of the time, as we go through this process, it's like, man, this doesn't really align what I'm doing to make money anymore. I want to find something more in alignment. But there aren't many good resources around it. So I thought we could bring Candace in for a discussion, human to human, but also tap into the records as well, see what sort of wisdom comes through. Yeah, I love this. I feel like this is something to explore because we have this ability that we sometimes don't realize that is attracting everything we experience, right? Not, not necessarily in a fluffy bit way, but in a real way, right? There's like a sense of thought and there's a way of being, there's a way of relating. There's a value system that we all emit in the universe that creates all of our relationships and experiences. And as we begin to spiritually awaken, um, those things evolve. And as they evolve, we may find that relationships Relationships of all kinds no longer fit in the way that they used to, which it often is career. And then we struggle spending inordinate amount of time, 40 plus hours a week in a space with people, with a company mission that doesn't fit. You know, sometimes we can kind of look the other way. Some people have done that, you know, the golden shackles, but really like when you have this spiritual awakening happening, you know, you, you see yourself in ways, in deeper ways that you hadn't before. It's it's harder to be out of alignment in that. And I think that's why many people go through a career transition during this time. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And there's there's really no, uh, that I found easy answers, but when we brought it up in your group program, I remember some of the things you said, and it was like, uh, man, it wasn't the shackles. You just said that right now, but it was like an elevator, maybe an uh, analogy. Do you, or maybe we can just tap into the records to see what comes through. Yeah, let's tap into the record now. I feel like this is a good time since we're already calling it in. Um, and so I'm going to take a moment to open the record um, and then I'll just start right here. 